Hi, my name is Mark Madsen and I'm excited to bring you my FE Civil Review. In this session, what I want to do is I just want to go over a quick overview of what the review looks like, what the exam looks like, some of the requirements uh, from NCES, and get you kind of started along the process before we jump into taking a look at those things that you once knew, maybe never knew, maybe need to know. So we're going to work through problems, don't worry, but first, before we get started, I want to take a minute just to talk about the exam. You might be thinking, well, who are you? Well, I've worked in the civil industry for the past 20 years. Uh, I passed the FE, I passed the PE. Uh, I've been teaching full time for the past uh, five or six years now. And I've been doing this class for the past number of years as well. And I've had students come back to me and say like, hey, can we get access to some of those videos again? So this year, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them online so my current students who will soon become my former students and hopefully go on to pass the FE, uh, we still have access to this material uh, once they graduate, right? And honestly, it opens it up for some of the people that maybe didn't have a chance to take this course uh, who were my students previously, or maybe uh, you're watching and never were my student or never was my student, but now uh, you are. So um, if you are new, if we've never met, feel free to drop a comment. I'd love to, to hear from you. But just to jump in, the way this review session works and what we're going to do here is we are going to take a look at a different topics on the exam. So how that works here is basically there's a number of topics that come through from NCS. We'll talk about each of those topics kind of in turn. Um, some of them will lump together and this is kind of the, the breakdown that I have. But each week what I'll do is I will post a set of practice problems. So I'll post those. Um, again, there'll be a link down below where you can access those. Um, you can download them, you can work through them with me, you can print them, put them in a binder, um, put them under your pillow, sleep on them at night, that might help. Um, it might not, but you never know. I mean, every little bit does help. So we will we'll take a look through those things um, and we'll do problems together. So that's kind of the format of the exam or of the uh, the review sessions that we're going to do. So each week there'll be a set of problems. We'll work through them. We'll talk through them. We'll solve them and hopefully answer your questions. So that's the review. Um, what I also want to do is I want to take this session in this video to just talk about the NCES requirements. So I'm going to jump over to that website and that website is nces.org so i'll put that link in the description below a lot of links down there but stay with me you know bear with me and here this is where you, you need to get um, an understanding of the exam so right off the bat the, the first thing that you should probably do is take a look at the exam specifications and they can be a little confusing to find some sometimes what i kind of like to do is, is actually if i just type in ncs exam spec specifications right away i get ncs fe exam information so this is where if you're taking the civil exam um, you can scroll down and click on civil and find that uh, the the information is the specific exam specifications and these did change a few years ago um, where some of the stuff got reorganized a little bit computational tools got dropped but it's it's still something that you should look at you should be familiar with so you're aware of how much things are weighted this is a computer-based test that has hundred and ten questions essentially in a five and a half hour time period right so that's a lot of questions in a short period of time you kind of need to know this stuff and be able to move through the questions quickly so you're doing a question every two or three minutes and honestly some of them you're going to look at and do in 30 seconds some of them you're going to look at and flag and come back later on but that's okay um even if you know some of the questions take you five minutes not not a, a deal breaker but you can't have every question take you five minutes you got to kind of average that's two to three minutes a question and what does that look like I mean if you look at this every 10 questions or so you, you can kind of think of it as about 10% so math and statistics about 10% if you combine ethics and engineering economics that's another roughly 10% right statics I, I can't stress statics enough because statics isn't just 10% statics is the basis for dynamics it's the basis for mechanics and materials it's the basis for fluid mechanics it's the basis for structural engineering it's the basis for geotechnical I mean, statics just just infiltrates this exam and is something that is is really important that you need to know and be able to do do well. So we'll have a session all on statics and uh, actually I did one of these last year on statics and threw it out there and didn't really get to doing the rest of the the course or the review sessions uh, on YouTube. But hey, this year we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna do all of it for you. So um, if you like that, there's gonna be uh, more of them. 
but we're gonna break this up into the different pieces. I'd say take a look at this, kind of try to get an idea of, yeah, I didn't really remember statics that well, or I took a vector mechanics class, and I can't remember I, J, K, because I'm not wearing that hat anymore. Um, but, ah, man, if you forgot vectors, honestly, that's that's okay, because we're gonna use a lot of um, algebra-based approaches to a lot of these, a lot of these problems. Um, as you go through here, though, you'll see some of the different topics. Maybe you took surveying in like a 200 level class. You remember nothing about surveying. We'll, we'll head on surveying. Um, when I first started teaching, I taught a surveying course and came up with a surveying manual. It's kind of fun, actually. But uh, since then, I've moved on to some other courses as well. We'll spend a couple weeks on water resources. Um, we'll spend a couple weeks on structural. We'll look at geotechnical. We'll look at transportation. Um, we'll, we'll do a week on construction. And, and all of these, you know, all, what we'll do for each of them is we'll come up with, a, again, a set of practice problems or we'll go through them. But what you should do is you should look up the exam specs, read through these, and kind of think, like, ah, where am I on those? And as we get into the problems, you'll see a little bit more. The second thing you have to do at NCS is you have to create an account. And the reason you have to create an account is because you can't take the exam without an account. NCS is the group that puts on the test across the United States. So if we go to my NCS, I've created an account here already, uh, just kind of a blank account. But this is where you register and you keep your records. So I'm going to go to my account, I'll log in. And what this shows you here is, um, you know, right now there's recent items. I don't have any, but um, if you register for an exam or something like that, that'll, that'll come up. Um, you can see here the common tasks like register for an exam. That's something that you'll need to do eventually. Uh, I, you you want to do, you, you do want to look at that a couple months out. Uh, I know last year they were way out. They were they, they were scheduled way out just because of COVID and that sort of thing. Uh, this year I don't think they're they're as bad. But you can purchase practice exams directly from NCS. I've heard from some of my students that that's a, that's a great document. Uh, you can access the results of your exams once you're done. But there's two things that I want to uh, point out real quick, or actually three. The first is the examinee guide. So if you haven't taken uh, the, the computer-based test, this tells you, you can download it, this tells you everything you need to know about the computer-based exam. What that exam looks like, um, that, I mean, there really aren't print, um, pencil and paper exams anymore. There were for the PE exam a little bit, but at this point, everything for the FE is a computer-based exam. So you're going to be taking a computer-based exam, including um, having to access the reference manual. So we'll talk about that, the reference handbook, you'll, we'll talk about that um, as we get in. But basically, the fees here, the current fees, are $175 for the FE, uh, and honestly, that's that will pay itself back to you uh, once you can pass. I, I mean, I, NCS doesn't pay you back, but your the, your employability and your advancement in your career will be uh, you'll you'll earn the $175 back. Believe me, uh, if you can pass the test. So as you go through here, I mean, I'm not going to go through all this. You guys can read it. I know you can, but. Um, a, a couple things that I do want to point out um, specifically are the times, right? So there's, as we keep coming down here, there's certain reference materials. The only reference materials is the reference handbook, but the times that we have here. So for the FE, right, it's a five hour and 55 minute appointment time. That includes basically five hours and 20 minutes for 110 questions. That's like not a lot, okay? I mean, that, that's a lot of questions. You got to be able to do them quickly. But it also means that there's going to be, the questions can't be super, super in-depth. You have to know the fundamentals, right? Um, but this is where, if you can get familiar with it, if you can learn the language, if you can learn where to look things up in the, the reference handbook, it's really going to help you. So I'd say take a look at the examinee guide. Also, take a look at the calculator policy. As you start studying, what you want to do is you want to go and buy a calculator. I use the Texas Instruments uh, TI-36X. So when we do examples, I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be showing you how to use it, doing demonstrations, uh, especially when we get into the math section uh, next week. I'll be using the TI-36, but, but, but buy it and use it because some calculators do things differently. Okay, so you can enter the same thing in two different calculators and sometimes get different results, which is kind of crazy. 
but you, you want to know how to use a TI-36X. You don't want to um, be using a TI-84 CE plus. I mean, it's a great calculator. And then get to the exam and realize, wait, I need to switch. And now I don't know where to put tables in. I don't know how to do functions. I don't know how to do a polysolve or a linear regression or any of those things. But if you learn how to do it on the TI-36X or the Casio, um, or if you really like reverse Polish notation, God bless you, but um, it's not for me. So you know, decide what calculator um, you're going to use. I would recommend either the Casio um, or the TI-36X, uh, but use it, uh, practice with it, get familiar with it, and learn what it can do because that's going to uh, really help you. And then lastly on NCS, what I would also suggest here is take a look at the reference handbooks. So if we go to the reference handbook section here, uh, there's a FE reference handbook 10.1. This is the latest as of this video, but you can download it, uh, you can open it up, and you can see what this looks like. So what you're gonna wanna do is come to each review session with this handbook, whether it's in a, you know, a PDF search and find, but you're gonna wanna get familiar with it and familiar with all 500 pages of it, okay? So it's a big handbook, but I have confidence that you can go through it, you can look for it, you, you know, look into it, um, and you can learn how to use it. So as we come down, there's a table of contents. Uh, it is bookmark, you know, clickable. Not everything is is civil, right? So not everything it relates to the FE civil. The NCS puts out one one uh, handbook. So, you know, there's a section on industrial and systems engineering. You can skip over that section, you know, most likely, unless there's something that will, will help you. There is a specific FE environmental exam. I'm not going to go super deep into environmental in this FE civil review course. Okay. Uh, but what I am going to do is I will go through some of the basics of like engineering economics. I'll go through some of the basics of the different components of civil engineering. And also, you know, we'll hit on math, probability, uh, um, it will get into statics, dynamics, mechanics, right? So all these different pieces we will work on. But you want to get familiar with the with this information. You want to get familiar with how to find things in it. Uh, what you know, what these, what the forms, the functions look like, so that when you get to the test, you know what keywords to search for and how to find everything. So, you know figure out what the exam looks like, um, get your calculator, figure out and download that handbook. Definitely something important to do. Okay. And then lastly here, when you go uh, for your exam, what you'll be able to do is you'll be actually be able to, if I uh, come back to my dashboard here or come back to my NCS, this is where you can go and register for that exam. So, uh, you know, it's it's not a super crazy process, but you have to put in your contact information, your education information. You also have to kind of pick a state where you're planning to take it. Different states have different eligibility requirements, but you wanna make sure you're eligible to take it in whatever state uh, you're in. So I'm in New York State and the students here essentially can take it in their uh, last semester or if they're within about 20 credit hours of graduating. So that's kind of where this is at, um, you know, but, but definitely get signed up. Uh, it, the sooner in some ways, the better, but uh, this is, you know, this session will run through the spring, kind of through uh, the end of April. We'll have sessions going kind of each week. So I hope this helps you guys. And honestly, I'm super excited uh, to be bringing this to you. I'm super excited uh, to be able to, to do this for you and hopefully help you along the way. So thanks for watching this video. You know, I, if you have questions, definitely drop in the comment box below. If there's certain questions you want to see on some of the reviews, uh, let me know, you know, reach out and I'd be happy to uh, try to address those as best I can. But until next time, hey, keep working hard and moving onward and upward. And for those of you that like to watch the end screens, guess what? I have a joke. Um, maybe it's not funny, but I heard it the other day. What do you get when you put ducks in a concrete mixer? <laughs> Who puts ducks in a concrete mixer? I mean, that, that enough is almost a joke, but <laughs> you get quacks in the pavement. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not funny, but maybe somebody, somebody laughed. All right, hey, keep working hard. Moving onward and upward.